Ah, I'm a bit slimed. up on my feet. Now, I'm going to sit on this rock just for a short break to look around. Ah, there we go. Oops. Oops, darn it. Hang on. This uh, thing has an adjustable white balance. All right, there's 4,800 Kelvins. It's just a round knob to turn, so it's a little too easy to accidentally turn. Uh. All right, there's the lower end of the cave. That's where I already went. That's where I'm coming back from. Ooh, uh. Yeah, look how far back these cracks go. I can definitely at least three feet back there. Wow. I you know why there's so much moisture going through this cave. But there's no puddles. Tiny puddles, that's all. There's a couple caves I've seen where the lower end is blocked. So um, it has a big lake. That's really neat to see. All right. I'm trying to decide if I want to put my backpack back on. The ceiling's not going to stay high for long. I'm on my feet now, but I'm crouching over. Was that movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? I think I saw it previous, but I'm not really into those martial arts movies, so I don't think I saw it. Maybe once a long time ago. Even the Matrix is kind of funny. It's like inside the Matrix, the fate of the whole world and humanity depends on some dude doing Kung Fu. It's like, seriously, <laughs> could you come up with a more believable plot? <laughs> Maybe gunfight. Anyway. Whatever. Uh. Yeah, The Matrix is fun to watch, but it's definitely not the most logical movie I've ever seen. Hopefully. Of course, I could be wrong. But <laughs> oh, man. I don't have elbow pads on, so I have to be careful crawling through here. I don't want to pulverize my arms. I have a jacket on, but it's a thin jacket. Oops.
small formations. The good news is it's easy to avoid this one. It's on the right, so I'll go to the left. I'm a genius. Right, here we go. The way I'm holding my flashlight and my camera in one hand, it's not very ergonomic, but it's keeping the camera and the flashlight pointing in the same direction. But I'm gonna sit up here. I wanna show you something cool on the floor. I don't know if I got it on the way in. I wanna make sure I get it. So this room is awesome, even though it doesn't have any big formations. But the first thing you should notice the ceiling is covered with lots and lots of small formations. They're very, very fragile. Please don't touch them. And then over here, look at the way the weird, the wall is kind of wiggly and curvy. There are a few small formations on the floor up there. Ooh, uh, it's kind of clear in the middle. I'm gonna go straight through there when I crawl through. And let's see how it's red here. Okay, now watch this. Look at the floor here. Look at how it's shaped like boiling water, like bubbles. So I'm pretty sure that really did happen. There was like the lava and then hot bubbles in between, not air, probably hydrogen sulfide or sulfur dioxide or something, and it inflated them. Heck, some of those could still be airtight. Some of those might actually still have a bad gas inside. But yeah, please don't touch it. It's obviously fragile. You see how like half a dozen of them are missing the ceiling. Could be from damage or it could be it actually did pop. But either way, try to be gentle, leave it alone. Uh, uh, excuse me. So I'm not gonna go a little bit forward here, but my obvious problem is I have to be very careful of the ceiling. So I'm gonna go forward like two feet and stop again already. So I can show you a better close up of the ceiling. Wow. Just hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of these little dripstones that are a type of stalactite, lava stalactite. Very impressive. I've only seen like maybe 10 caves with those on the ceiling like this. You know, there might be one or two in Ape Cave, but just seeing a bunch of them like this is extremely rare. Well, for one thing, they're fragile. Pranksters and vandals and so on could knock it down, but they also just don't form that often. It's not like a guarantee in a cave or anything like that. It's obviously only certain conditions. I think in this case, it's a cave with a tiny, tiny entrance. It's a nice long cave, but I think that caused it to cool down really slowly. So by cooling down really slowly, they were able to sort of stretch out the form. Not 100% sure. But that seems to make sense. 